Today I'm going to talk about CSS, cascading style sheets. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use um, some of the files that we've already worked with. And I'm going to start out um, by working with the web page for the Barossa um, website. So it is this one, which should look familiar to you. And um, today what I'm going to show you, I'm going to quickly show you how to do an image map, which ha really doesn't have anything to do with cascading style sheets, but I want to show you that because it's um, important for the navigation on the site. And then I'm going to talk about um, how to um, use CSS to style text for um, two web pages. So let me just quickly start with um, creating an image map. And an image map is important for an image that you want to create multiple links on. So for this example, um, I'm clicking on this navigation right here, this image, which is um, to function as navigation so that when I click on the part of the image that says company profile, it would link to that page. When I um, click on services, it would link to the services page. And the same for this last one, contact um, info. And you'll notice that this particular page was not designed with rollovers. So that's the reason why we're using an image map for the navigation on this particular page. So to create an image map, um, it's pretty simple. The first thing you want to do is click on the image. And here in your, this is your properties inspector, we're going to name the map. So I'm going to just simply call it navigation. And notice that I'm putting it into this field um, right next to um, all the other map icons. So I'm going to hit enter. And notice that there is an arrow, which I'm going to show you in a second what that's for, and there are these hotspot tools. These are the tools that you would use to create the hotspots on the image um, that would link to your other pages. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and simply draw a rectangle on this navigation. And this little message is just telling me that I should um, create an alt field for my image map, which is fine. Um, and I'm going to continue to draw the other rectangles here on my navigation. Okay, so that's the first step is to actually just draw the rectangles. And then the next step is to actually create the links. So that's where I'm going to use this pointer hotspot tool. And I'm going to select this first hotspot that I created here. And right here in this top field, I'm going to put in the name of the HTML page that it goes to. So for in this case, it would go to a page called company.html. For the second one, go to services.html. And then the last one would be contact HTML. So this particular case, all of these hotspots are linking to a page within the existing website. Um, if it was going to what, what we call an external website, like for let's say for whatever reason it went to a site like let's say Google for just this example, you would need to put in the full um, web address for that. Okay, so um, and if you wanted it to open up in a new browser window, you would put blank. So that's how you would link to an external site. But I'm going to just delete that because, again, in this case, we want it to link to a page within the site. So now I can preview that. And we can see um, I'm getting the little hand cursor that does indicate um, that these are now links. So in, using an image map is a great way to create multiple links on an image. And you are not just, um, you can use more than just a rectangle. That's why we have these other hotspots. You can use um, more circular or oval hotspots and even um, some odd um, shapes with the polygon hotspot tool. So that is how you create a image map. 
What I want to spend more time today talking about is talking about CSS, um, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And in this demonstration, I'm going to talk about um, using it for styling text. Later on in the semester, we will talk about using CSS um, to um, do other things in a web page. But right now, we're going to just start out with styling text. Now, the um, beauty of using CSS is that by using what is um, commonly called an external file sheet, which I'll explain in more detail in a few moments, you are able to assign styles to your web page that are the same throughout the site, which means that when you need to change a style, all you have to do is to change it once in your external file, your CSS file, and it will change globally throughout the whole website. So, and this is just a very simple um, example, but let's say you styled, um, you created a style for your main text, and all of the text was black, and this was on all, let's just say for the sake of argument, 100 pages of your site, it would be very tedious to go to all 100 pages of that site to change the color of the text if the text changed from black to, let's say, blue. Whereas if you have defined your color in your one external style sheet, you can change it from black to, to blue, and it will globally update every page of your site. So we're talking about a, um, something that could be quite tedious to change on multiple pages to something that's quite easy to change just using your CSS file. And hopefully that'll make more sense um, to you as, as we go along. Okay, so this Barasa um, web page, how would we style this text here in the center? And um, just to give you sort of a sense of process, um, I usually do style my text at the very end of the page. So um, after, you know, after designing it in Photoshop, after slicing it, after building it in um, Dreamweaver, um, and placing the text in the, in the um, table cell, then I will, um, before moving on to the next page, style my text.